a bit of a cold today, so pardon my sniffles in this video. But I'm going to showcase the Canada Goose Woodland Parka jacket to you. This jacket was kind of a special release. I think they released it with Moose Jaw. It was only available there for a little while, maybe a year back or so. So it wasn't available through the Canada Goose regular website. So they're kind of this limited release, limited edition release jacket. This is the Canada Goose camo pixelated design, I believe it's called in the green and black. They had another one that was like this light beige and white. But this was but this one is the black with the pixelated darker camo, as you can tell. Um, the the jackets are about a hip length, so they'll sit just right below your waist here. They have six twenty five down fill in them. The exterior is this polyester <clears throat> they have this polyester cotton exterior like most can use coats. But then the for the top part, if you're wearing the jacket you won't be able to see in the photo, but if you're wearing it it's this really heavy duty really thick stuff so it feels kind of it feels it's a little restricting on your arms a little bit and it weighs down the coat a bit but it's but I can imagine it's it's extremely durable and it feels really heavy duty so there's probably a trade-off there um, I'll get into describing some of the details and the features of the coat so you have these two military grade drop-down pockets or these military enclosed button pockets right here that are pretty large then you have these side hand roller pockets that have fleece lining in them, and that's kind of nice. You can see on the front, you have these military grade pockets that overlay this storm guard or storm flap. And then you have these double YKK zippers underneath that as well. You have the two layer cuff system, like most Canadians coats do have. So the jacket zips up to about right here. Well, first I'll do a 360 for you guys. Keep in mind, I'm wearing a men's extra large and I'm usually a small and these are considered a relaxed fit so that's kind of why it looks so big on me but anyways so you zip the jacket all the way up to about here and then you can pull the hood up so this is about the most protection you'll get from it which is what I find maybe slightly disappointing because I generally like my hoods and my can use coats to be more enclosed than this but this isn't that uncommon for the structure of the hoods and the face protection on Canada Goose Coats. You have this flint, uh, fleece line chin strap here, which is something I wore Canada Goose to a football game, and I noticed I really, really appreciated that because for a while I had been wearing it with the, the fleece line not pulled out, so my chin was just rubbing against the kind of a coarser mint fabric, which really got kind of grating or annoying during the time I was wearing it. So these fleece chin guards are actually pretty nice and a uh, pretty smart invention on these coats because They'll, uh, <clears throat> they'll add some comfort to the jacket when you have it all the way up and it's pretty cold. But the first removable on these jackets, um, the hood is the hood is removable as well. You can put these hoods, you can snap the hood closer to you with this thing here and then you have these drawstrings that just pull the hood tighter to your face. On the inside of the jacket, we have a drop down pocket with Velcro. Velcro enclosed, two of them run right here, run right there. They have no Napoleon pockets on the front of the jacket, as you'll notice. Now, I don't believe there's anything else on the back of the jacket, but let's see. Then there's this one strap here that just pulls the hood higher up. If you pull it down, it'll pull it high, the hood higher up, or you can let it go and pull a little lower on your face. But <clears throat> that's the features of the Canada's Woodland Parka jacket. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comment section. Make sure to keep checking back because I'll be doing more overviews and reviews of coats of all things Canada Goose. So be sure to check back for that. I'm also selling some Canada Goose coats that I've collected. I have my website and the link in the description box below. So if you're interested, be sure to check that out because it's getting kind of chilly and you might need a warm coat for the winter. Um, but thanks for watching, guys, and uh, putting up with my little cold. Hope you found the video helpful and uh, have a great day.